Dear students, we were having an overview of the Cognitive School of Thought in Strategic Management. This is a descriptive school of thought which tells us that how strategies are actually formulated. And uh, this school tells us that how the strategists uh, take the CN and uh, we need to see that what is in the mind of a strategist while they making the CN and uh, developing the vision and mission of an organization. So uh, we were having an overview that what is the role of cognition in uh, this pro whole process. So uh, this video is also all about uh, the cognition and its different aspects. So let's have an overview. In our uh, previous video, uh, we told you that cognition uh, can be seen as confusion, information processing, mapping, concept attainment and construction. We are having uh, this overview of these all aspects one by one. In this video, we will only focus on cognition as mapping. Recall this picture in which I told you that cognition is a mental process which is highly influenced by the experiences, thinking process and senses. Now in this video, we will uh, see that what is the role of thinking process and sense while taking into account that cognition can uh, be used as mapping. So in this video, we will see that what is the connection of thought process and senses in mapping all of the information which is inside the mind of a strategist and how they process all that information to acquire knowledge and to understand it. So seeing a cognition as mapping, before going into the detail, first of all, we must know that what is a map. Uh, taking the definition of geography, map is a representation of area that contains features of that area. The important aspect to be considered in this definition is features. It means that map holds certain characteristics, map have certain uh, features that are uh, representative in uh, that map. And that uh, is called the map uh, which contains certain kind of characteristics and features in it. Similarly, a person has a certain thing, certain map inside the mind of that person. So uh, what is a mental map? Uh, we should know the difference between the map which is used in uh, the map term used in the, sci uh, in the geography and uh, the mental map term used in the psychology. So mental map is a person's viewpoint and perception on the area of interaction. It also has certain kind of features. If a person has certain kind of features of certain characteristics associated with a certain thing, and they try to make map according uh, to the perception they have and the characteristics they have in their mind. So this is uh, called the mental map, which is usually created inside the mind of a person. Uh, it is said that a uh, wrong mental representation is better than no representation at all. It means that uh, said sometimes it is said that uh, it is important for a person to create certain kind of blur image even, which, is, which may be wrong, which can be changed uh, afterwards, but that is necessary for a person to have inside the mind. If we don't have any idea of certain thing in our mind, it is very difficult for us to create, recreate or create that concept in our mind. Uh, it, it is said that a wrong mental representation is better. It means that if we have certain blur boundaries, blur, blur image of something, that is better uh, to have in our mind. So uh, let's see that uh, what are uh, the different aspects of mental maps or the mapping, cognition as mapping. It has two parts uh, in it, uh, we will, which we will describe uh, in the upcoming slides. Number one is the mental maps and number two is the mental schema. A mental map is a type of a mental representation which serves as an individual to acquire, code, store, recall and decode information about multiple objects. Recall that uh, parallel processing model in which we saw that we have a certain kind of information, different informations and multiple and complex kind of information which our mind uh, try to acquire each and every time. So uh, that uh, is uh, that information, when that information is acquired, the brain code that information, store that information, recall that information whenever it is required and decode that information whenever it is, uh, whenever the action is required by the person. So and the, on the basis of this, a mental map is created. We will describe uh, this mental map with the help of a picture.
Cognition as uh, mapping can be explained with the help of uh, an example. Uh, for example, uh, we, you are having uh, video lectures, you are watching uh, the lectures on the strategic management and uh, during uh, this uh, video you may be having multiple distractors around you. This is not possible that you are uh, only having these lectures uh, and watching this, these lectures. You may be having different stimuli in, and your mind is probably processing all that information. Uh, remember that parallel processing model in which I told you that there are multiple and complex kind of information which are stored, which are acquired by your uh, brain at the same time, but we tend to ignore all that information which is not required at that time. So right now, this is not possible that you are not having different stimulus around you, but you are paying only attention to that uh, stimulus, which is a video lecture on strategic management. You may be having multiple kind of observations on uh, uh, the strategic management uh, lectures and your mind will be storing all that information. For example, you have uh, first information that uh, this uh, lecture is easy. So uh, this is stored in uh, your mind in a certain register. Now, uh, secondly, uh, this uh, the second observation you ha may be having that this uh, is a cognitive school of thought and this is stored in another uh, register on your mind. Similarly, you may, may be having another uh, information or uh, another observation uh, which is saying, for example, that uh, this is related to the descriptive school of thought of uh, strategic management. And uh, these are the, for example, these are the video lectures of Virtual University of Pakistan. So you are uh, storing them, all uh, these information into the different registers which you are having in your mind. Your mind is storing all this information and will be used uh, to acquire uh, for upcoming events and whenever you want to recall all that information. Now, uh, this, what is the mental map? That was not mental map, which I told you. That was uh, the storage information. Now, uh, you may be having a certain kind of observation one, observation one, which is saying that this is an easy kind of lecture, and this is related to the schools of thought. Now, you may be having another observation which is saying that this is a strategic management lecture. Now, you may be having another observation which is saying that uh, you are unable to, for example, grasp the concept of psychology. So, you are not interested in the psychological concepts. And term number three may be another thing that uh, you are saying that you may be thinking that I uh, will make the notes of uh, this all information and go back and see the psychology books. So all this observation is stored in your mind and this is called the mental map which is created for uh, inside your mind for the video lectures on strategic management. That is the example of the mental map. This is created inside your mind. Now this is a mental map will be used for further processing whenever it is required by your mind. The second thing is the mental schema. That is the pattern of the thoughts or behaviors that organizes categories of information and the relationship among them. Uh, as I have uh, explained you in the previous uh, example, in which we saw that there are certain kind of categories which are stored inside your mind and those all categories are related to only one strategic management video which uh, creates a mental map. Now, what uh, is the mental schema? Mental schema is a connection of multiple mental maps uh, which you are having in your mind. Uh, I can uh, give you an example of the mental schema as well. Mental schema is, for example, you ha are having lectures and uh, uh, this is the mental map which we have already uh, created, uh, which told uh, you that uh, you have certain uh, lecture and this lecture is related to the cognitive school of thought. You will go back and take notes. You are not interested in the psychology terms and uh, this is very easy and this uh, may help you in the in the future. Similarly, you will be having another mental map which will tell you that this is a lecture two and lecture two is also related to a uh, different school of thought which is descriptive in nature and uh, which is uh, school of thought uh, also of the strategic management and uh, you have multiple observations. Similarly, you will be having third mental map in your mind of about say lecture three and you may be having an other uh, mental map which is telling you that you are ha having lectures of an other subject which is for example human resource. 
in the virtual university of pakistan so now uh, these are the mental schemas these whole are mental schemas which will create a link between all these uh, mental models now you can compare that lecture 1 was easy lecture 2 was very difficult for you or uh, you will be associating different characteristics for with these or lectures and uh, you may also compare that the age or lectures are relatively com easy uh, as compared to the strategic management and overall the vir virtual university of pakistan providing you different lectures that are uh, very good in their nature and recording so uh, this is the mental schema in which you have tried to develop different kind of relationships and you are trying to say that this is all over about the lectures of virtual university of pakistan so that is about the mental schema which is developed in the mind of a person so concluding the cognition as a mapping and cogn in cognitive school of thought uh, i would like to tell you that uh, as we have already discussed this thing that uh, we are uh, considering all these things as an individual and we will try to relate all those aspects with uh, the strategies them uh, themselves so uh, this mental map and mental schema are usually developed in the mind of an individual and obviously in the mind of the strategist as well but i have tried to explain uh, this thing uh, how these mental schemas and mental maps are developed inside the mind of a person and what are those mental maps and schemas and how they play their role in acquisition of knowledge so uh, we must know that whenever the maps and the schemas are developed the relationships are developed inside the mind of a person this is very easy for a person to recall all that information and to make the strategies and uh, in the uh, start of this uh, lecture it was said that uh, this is better to have a wrong mental representation than uh, not to have any representation at all so this is very important now you know that uh, conceiving something and uh, trying to have certain uh, kind of relationship between all those maps is necessary even if they are wrong we can change whenever they are wrong but if there is no mental map and no mental schema no mental relationships available so this is very difficult for a strategist to make decision on the basis of void and null information